G'day! You may be thinking one of two things. Number one, Tara, you're actually dressed today. Yes, go buy this hoodie at tarabellrose.com, link in description. Also, I'm not technically, oh, there's a hole. <laughs> Point number two, Tara, you're making yourself suffer again. Absolutely, for the views. So please make sure you share this with a friend. Now I have watched episode one. I have watched episode two. And now we're watching the finale because I am not watching one, three, four, hang on, how many are there? There's 12 episodes of this But before we start, I got a new fish. Look at my fish. Isn't he cool? Look at my fish. Let's get this over with. All right, typo. Come here. We play a Marco Polo thing so I don't lose it. Come here. What's up? It's me from the future. I'm just editing this now and I've just only realized Farmer bloke who's not a farmer but also is a farmer. He's not here. <laughs> Where did he go? If you guys actually watched this, can you let me know what happened in the comments? I don't care enough to rewatch it. But yeah. He's gone. Turns out Typo doesn't want to be here. Can you blame her? No. Here we go. Run, Forrest! Run! Look at that sunburn. <laughs> I'm not. Did you ask me? And? Honey, your tit's about to pop out. You may be thinking, why does he have such an intense fence? That's to stop all these ladies running away. On our search for love leads to this... Can you just fall in the cattle grate and let this be over? Everything that's been done on our search for love leads to this very moment. This moment. Right now. This one opportunity to have everything you ever want. I didn't really get much of a chance to hang out with Ash. This bloke's apparently going nude. There's nothing in that bag. Maybe I'll be left with no one. You'll be right. You got your merinos. Is it just me? Apparently I made it to the final. Really looking forward to seeing Tara. I'm glad. I get me sad just thinking about it. Come on. Zoom in on those tears. He seems a really nice guy. Oh my god, shut up. Rob's in a not so sunny Byron Bay. Of course she lives in Byron Bay. I hope he gets bogged. Help me, help me. She's got a waterfront view. It's wet, isn't it? If you're lucky, the water will carry your house to a nicer place. Brilliant. That yeah. looks great. That looks cold. Is there any chance of a shark swimming around here? I hope so. A rock up to you? Yeah. Why does she have a dead chicken hanging off her hair? I hope you had a good day. I didn't. It's pretty clear how I feel about Matt now. I kind of want everyone to choose no one. I like to watch the world burn. Yeah, I do like you. You do? I do. Yeah. Okay. Still like you too. Let me predict. <sighs> Skip. Hey, guys. How you going? Horrible. First thoughts about Byron. Shithole. <laughs> Vicky's friends were definitely trying. I don't care. You are really boring. I'm sorry, but you are. After spending yesterday with Tara and family. Today, Matt's in Alex's hometown. Awesome. Can we get to it? I just love looking at Alex and a smile and cute little cheeky green she always does. <laughs> Honey, your booby is about to go for a swim. What attracts me to Matt is the fact he's got cows. Imagine that reality. <laughs> no, Come in. He looks like he's just walked out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Matt? How do you do? Oh, wow, you've got three bins. What is the blue bin? Wait, we've got a recycle bin, we've got a rubbish bin, and we've got a blue bin. South Australians, what's the blue bin? But what are the qualities that you would be looking for in a partner? Someone who likes cows. Um, someone who I can trust, because trust is my biggest Absolutely. thing. Mate, it's a bold thing to say when you're dating five women at once. In South Australia, Rob's feeling the pressure as he heads to meet Kate's family. Woo! Yeah, I've seen him a couple of days and yeah, I was surprised I missed him. <laughs> I like the hippie more. She's got a dead chook in her ears. They're very similar looking, but they're also, yeah, quite different. Yeah, one's got blonde hair 
and one's got red hair. And uh, this is Paul, my sister's partner. Paul, have you been egged on your way in? So what's the pros and cons of living on a farm? Pro. You can scream and the neighbours won't hear you. Strong will. Hard as big as, as Tullock's, but... Boring. Skip. After the ups and downs of the last six weeks, Matt has to make the ultimate decision. Whether he's going to live or die. Which of his ladies does he see as his future wife? Same thing. My father always told me when I met your mother, I was blown away and I had this fuzzy feeling. Oh, touching. Skip. Yeah, it's the big decision and, yeah, I, I don't know what way Matt will go. Okay. I suppose I should say which one I want him to pick. Tara, obviously. You know, they are quite strong. So which one's she? They're both blonde. I'm very confused. 15k speed limit, mate. Looks like you're breaking it. No. I know. Now drop out like a hot potato. Tara. Oh, it's Tara. No, we don't want you to drop her. Keep her. Get rid of the other one. But don't don't blow me off, bro. There are things that weigh on my shoulders and things that do. You know, I still remember that night when you walked away. How much that did hurt me. And God, you're still talking. How do I know that? You know, you are here for the long haul. How do I know that you aren't going to run away on me again? With You've known her for six weeks, man. I mean, take a risk. You've got the other one's number just in case. It's been a long time coming and this will be here for, but I'm... Um... I'll get to the point. Are you keeping me or are you dumping me? If that picks me, I will just be over the moon. Honey, you're going to fall and break your leg in those. So, Alex... Our journey mm -hmm. has been one hell of a ride here. Oh, come on, hurry up. I do have a very strong connection with Tara. I know. Which I, I can't seem to ignore. I know. You know, I have to pursue the, where my heart is going. Mm-hmm. He does. Yeah. It's your decision. Like, you know, you've, you're going to have to follow your heart and follow where you are. I know. Because he chose, because he chose me. You deserve so much. And I really hope that Tara can provide that for you. I really do. I mean, I hope that, you know, you can... I will. Don't worry. Find that, that trust in her as well. You know, she did leave the farm and that really concerns me for you. Okay, you're really yapping on here. Can you shush? Yeah, but, you know, that's your decision. See you, mate. Better luck next time. I really do wish you all the best. Thank you. And I do hope you find love. But you didn't. Next. And I'm actually really thankful for those loans. Can we get back to the point where he tells me he loves me? Come on, let's go. Final decision. And with two ladies' hearts on the line, making the right choice. My prediction for Beardy Boy. He's going to pick Chicken Lady. But I really only want to be the girl at the end if Rob genuinely feels a connection with me. Okay, I'm bored. Next. We've had such a great time. Well, I know I have. Yeah, no, me too. Absolutely. Oh, how emotional. I feel like we've sort of developed into, you know, really good mates. Friends owned. Here we go, chicken lady. It's been a pretty wild ride. It has. Being dishonest to both you and myself if if I thought I could see a, a future together. He's not picking any. It's a bit confusing. Yeah, I thought that was... Um... I put a solid three hours into this show and for him not to pick anyone. I like to think Mrs. Wright's still out there for me. So he can just he just pick no one. The last time I did see Andrew, we were at the event and I was left at the table by myself once again. We have a laugh. We have great dance. So if he doesn't see that I am his perfect pick, open your eyes. This poor chick, she knows she's not going to get picked. You're not going to get picked. Hello. Hi. How are you? Of course the Canadian's still here. Better than my black instant. Yeah. That hat looks revolting. Do you mind if I steal you for a couple minutes? As long as you bring it back. <laughs> yeah. So obviously Jamie and I are both from Canada and we kind of always sit on the fence 
at different times about whether it's time to move back home. Mm -hmm. Is that something you'd ever be open to? Why is that a question? This is farmer wants a wife, not this chick wants to move back to Canada, maybe. It's time to make a life-changing choice. The crop's only half harvested. Probably made it more with my gut than my head. But um, my decision now um, is, uh, is not food. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Cry off screen. Oh, I forgot to do a prediction. It's not going to be her. Okay, can she do the walk of shame awkwardly back to the car now? I choose you if you'll have me. I definitely will. And we have chosen Canadian. Skip. It felt great telling Jamie how I feel. That's great, I don't care. Feeling, uh, feeling a bit nervous about today. Let me predict, he's not going to be with the one that he made leave the last date. Uh, when we're around each other, it's just easy. It just, just flows. I did come into this experience with an open mind and an open heart. But, unfortunately, you know, my heart belongs to someone else. What did I say? Why don't we say someone else? We know who it is. Scared. But I've just got to follow my heart. And I've got to follow my way out of here. And you guys have to follow me on Instagram. I just hope that the connection that I have with him is strong enough. Last one. Yes. Because the thing is just, I'm in love with you. I hope they break up. Why? Who said that? journey to try and find it it's sort of taken me a fair bit by surprise but is it over <laughs> in conclusion i've never been so happy not for them for the fact i'm done like subscribe comment i saw the new bachelors out do you want me to watch that <laughs> thanks for watching